Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Anchor Star Wealth Morning Show. I'm Steve Anchor Star, and Allison won't be able to be with us this morning due to a prior commitment. But we're going to talk about three things today. We're going to talk about the continuing battle uh, between the earnings and you know don't fight the Fed. So the fact that it, uh, interest rates are raised or being raised or at least forecasted to uh, to be raised this year versus the outstanding um, tech earnings reports that we have received. Uh, so far, including, you know, Google's last night huge beat uh, was pretty amazing. And of course, the stock split. So we're going to talk about that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we are in the market. And I will show you uh, what I'm talking about, about this, uh, the fight between the, <clears throat> here we go, the earnings as well as the Fed. So when you look at the chart here, again, one year S&P 500 chart coming all the way over here to, we do have that three day up pattern that we talked about. And that's where you can feel confident if you've been sitting on the sidelines. Uh, that is often an often used trigger, if you will, to come back into the market is three green days. We do have that. Uh, we're also setting up in the green for today. So we shall see if it holds. Uh, I am more of a, I tried to be buy back in here during the dip, but it's a little more aggressive maneuver. I wouldn't recommend that except for uh, professionals, but because there's a lot of risk with it. But we look at when you peel back what happened, this red bar here, the biggest of the the whole area that was last Wednesday. That's when Chairman, you know, the Fed announced that they were not raising hikes, raising interest rates. Excuse me, <coughs> but they did forecast that there are going to be three this year. And Chairman Powell, you know, was pretty firm with what he said as far as this is the plan and they're going to stick with it. So that obviously caused uh, two big down days in the market, and since then uh, we have bounced. Now, what you'll see is mostly the earnings is what's been driving this higher uh, since then. So, and we'll talk about those specifically uh, right now. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Google chart. So sharing that out now, and then we'll pull up Google. I use the class C shares, so that's why you know, it's alphabet now, but I use the G-O-O-G shares. There are also the G-O-O-G-L shares, which are the A shares, which come with voting rights. So don't be confused uh, if you happen to be looking at that uh, there. So again, market hasn't opened yet because we have about 13 minutes to the market open, but you can see that the they're up. The Google went up yesterday ahead of earnings, and then of course last night it jumped uh, almost uh, eight. Uh, it's almost 10% back down to, to a little under 9% this morning. But I think it's instructive when you talk about the big sell-offs and sell-offs in tech in general that, <clears throat> you know, this is where we got all those buy signals was back in here after the Fed uh, made their announcement. And if you were able to buy there, uh, which we were doing, we're buying a lot of the technology during the sell-off, uh, certainly you were handsomely rewarded. And that's before even the move out of the uh, earnings. So it really, when I look at the earnings, I have a little cheat sheet here. <clears throat> so again, huge earnings beat, like 30% in revenue. So kind of, uh, you know, amazing quarter, amazing quarter. Everybody thought Apple's quarter was the best ever. I think Google's might have actually beat it. Uh, but when, what really moved the stock in addition to the earnings is they announced the 20 for one uh, stock split. So now if you're if you're familiar with stock splits, you know that a 20 to one stock split is honestly nothing more. If you can think of it conceptually of if you have a hundred dollar bill and you walked up to a bank or wherever and said, I would like 20 $5 bills, nothing has changed. You still have a hundred dollars, except for now you just hold it differently. That's exactly what's going to go on with Google stock is it'll basically divide that 3000 if you will, if that's where the stock price is, by 20 That nets you out $150. So you'll have, if you had 10 shares, now you'll have 200 shares. And instead of them being 3000 a share, they're going to be 150 a share. Now, is that a catalyst to move higher? Uh, I have to say, you betcha uh, it is, because when you look at the splits of the past, uh, most notably, uh, who comes to mind is Apple is they had a seven for one split. Before that, they had a four for one split. I think they had splits even before that. I just don't remember offhand. Is when you make the stock price lower, it seems cheaper, okay? People are notoriously bad at math, so let them be bad and buy in before the split. And then after the split, watch the stock go higher. Uh, you can go back and if you don't believe me, go back and look at the history of Apple. And I think we're gonna see the same thing in Google. While it may pain you to hit the buy, you know, hit the buy sign this morning after it's up 10%, just you know, think of the long term. Is this a great company? Yes. Does it have long-term potential? Yes. 
Uh, is it going to do a stock split? Yes, it still has to be voted on by the shareholders. It will get passed. Trust me, that would shoot them. They would shoot themselves in the foot if they didn't. Um, <clears throat> and it also opens the door for, you know, you can Google this if you want the longer term explanation of the math behind it, but it opens the door for Google to actually enter uh, the Dow. So, and if they, if Google's enters the Dow, obviously there's only 30 names. So somebody has to come out. Uh, the uh, odds makers say it's IBM falling out of the Dow, and that's probably long overdue, to be honest. Uh, IBM, great, great company of yesteryear, but have they been able to keep pace with modern tech firms? I would say no, uh, you decide. But the if Google enters the Dow, well, now that's interesting too, because when you think of all the index funds and mutual funds that are all tied to all of the bigger names, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a benefit there for uh, Google, if or Alphabet, excuse me, I should call them by their proper name, for entering into the actual Dow. So <clears throat> that's what I have on uh, Google. Congrats on the fantastic quarter. Let's take a look at Facebook real quick. Facebook is, excuse me, Meta Platforms. Got to like how these people change their names. But again, they rebranded to Meta not too long ago. Seems like weeks, but it might be over a month. But really, when you look at what we're expecting out of the Facebook quarter is the numbers are probably going to be pretty good across the board. You know, the, I, I think Meta slash Facebook is the number two advertiser behind Google. It's more appealing to small business owners such as myself. So there's you know, millions of us out there, right, uh, that can't afford Google or choose not to pay Google. There are 5000 a month to make sure that I'm at the top of the search list. That's, to me, still a ridiculous number. Um, but they're, you know, they, the, Facebook makes a ton of money that way. But they're also rebranding as, you know, Meta, which is the leader in the metaverse. AR, VR, so augmented reality, virtual reality. So that's what I expect to hear. The numbers should be good, but I expect to hear uh, Zuckerberg talk mostly about metaverse and advances that are going on and what we can expect to see down the road. Whether or not you believe the metaverse story is up to you, I do believe it. I think the metaverse is going to be, if, you were, if you're old enough to remember the early days of the computer and the early days of the internet, plenty of people were skeptical right? But, you know, it seemed like its own thing. And it, how, how could this even be possible? Uh, I would say that my mind is wide open to the application of, of what's going on in the metaverse uh, and what it could be in the future. And there's several movies been made about this. The, the best, I believe, is Ready Player One. Uh, if you haven't seen that, most people have seen The Matrix. That kind of alludes to you know, that's a little bit out there yet, but at least Ready Player One, you know, people are living in the real world, but they spend most of their time in a virtual world uh, with alternate personalities. I think that's very attractive. And I think that the younger generations are already kind of there with their, you know, the video games that are out there and them losing themselves in their phones, you know, kind of checking out of the real world. I, I think it is absolutely a no brainer. There's already kind of a run on real estate in the metaverse. I don't necessarily have my mind around how to capitalize on that, but if you can think of it, uh, the analogy I think is best is if you think when the web came out, there was a run on websites. If you think of you know NFL.com, there can only be one of those, but anybody could register. So if you think that is real estate, then you know somebody bought it and sold it to the NFL, right? So I think that's going on in the metaverse right now. Not really sure how to capitalize on that. If you know how, let me know. But there's going to be tons of money made, so you want to be behind the companies that are leading in that area, and Facebook slash Meta is going to be one of those. Uh, last thing I'll talk about is Amazon. Let's pull up Amazon. They release after the bell today as well. Now, Amazon is another one of these stocks that has not split, right? It's priced up in the 3000 range. There you go. Numbers are almost the same as uh, Google as far as the, the price point. Would they benefit from a split? Absolutely. Are they going to? My gut tells me no, but then again, I wouldn't have guessed that Google did. I think it'd be a brilliant move. Uh, I also think it'd be a brilliant move if they were able to pivot and react and, and change their mind and, and propose it today. I don't think the, the regulation behind it can move that fast. So even if they say Google, if they see Google benefit from it significantly, they may turn around and bake this into the next uh, earnings release. So of course, three months from now. So something to consider there uh, for Amazon. You know my take on these big firms. I do think they will eventually be split up or have to be forced to spin things off. So these companies will be getting smaller over time, but the 
yeah, you know, is it going to happen right away? I don't know. I'm optimistic for Amazon. I think it's oversold here, and I think it's a good entry point going into earnings, and I do expect to see uh, them in the green tomorrow based off of that. There are some challenges out there, no doubt. Uh, the total number of retail expenditures coming out of quarter four Christmas, you would think it'd be high with all the deliveries, but then again, they probably projected pretty high. And lastly, the workforce slash labor situation. Uh, we got a terrible jobs number this morning. It's not a jobs number. It was a jobs report, if you will, talking about, you know, people less and less inclined to work. And that's a real problem. Uh, you've probably seen it out and about at restaurants. You may see it in some of the, you know, I was at a car repair place yesterday. And again, some of the workers are choosing not to work. That, that's kind of crazy, right? Usually we're worried about unemployment. Now we're, we're <laughs> we just can't find workers. So an interesting situation. And of course, Amazon employs a ton of people don't have any concept of how many people they do employ really but with so many people out there you would think that they might run into some challenges there all right that's what i've got for today's show thank you so much for listening in remember the standard disclaimer uh, out there you have to do your own due diligence before acting upon anything you hear in this presentation i also want to encourage listeners to uh, put forth questions in the comments whether it's in facebook on youtube go to the website anchorstarwealth.com any of those places if you have a question out there you want me to address in the morning uh, throw it out there. I will try to answer it in two to three minutes. And with that, you guys have a great day. Bye.